The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Valhalla. Weighing in at 320 pounds, Eric O. Sam. Hell, Eric the Norseman. Six foot seven. And his opponent from Akron, Ohio, weighing in at two hundred and thirty six pounds, the destroyer, Hunter Chris. The second round action this tournament. Look forward to this match. Get to know a little bit more about these guys as we go on. This guy comes with a lot of finishing moves. This should be a good match. If I go look at the tail of the tape. This guy uses a triple moonsault, victory roll super kick, slingshot lariat, and a guillotine choke as finishers. And the Norseman uses a handful of submissions. I want to say a cross face and a sharpshooter, I believe. The Norseman goes against the ropes. Hunter kicks him with the chest and the face. Punches him in the head. Now club to the back. Another club to the back. Clubbing blow to the face. Look at that. Lion salt moon salt there by the hunter. Here he goes for a pen. Get a one. The Norseman gets outside of the ring. Yeah, Hunter spears him outside of the ring. He falls off the apron onto the floor. Outside our announce tables. Mm. And he smashes his face right off of his knee. And he slams his face into the ground. He's uh, not, not holding off either. And he throws him back in the ring. You see, uh, see a lot of action outside tonight. Uh, Hunter comes back in the ring, ties up the Norseman, grabs him by the throat, uh, punches him right in the stomach, and goes for a pinfall. Didn't even get a one. A lot of power in that kick out there too, but uh, he's still getting attacked quite a bit. Norseman's just getting uh, beat up. Now uh, moonsault. That goes to the top. Second rope. Right, triple jump moonsault. Double jump moonsault. And now he plays the crowd. I'm surprised they were cheering him earlier. Now they don't they really care for his ego. Horseman finally mounting some offense, but I mean, this whole match is going to get a tip to him. Yeah, and he picks him up from one side of the ring to the other. Yeah, Hunter's going for a ride. Ah, jeez. Norris with the pull around clothesline. He is a big guy. Uh-oh. Yeah, he picks the Hunter up, spins him around. Sit out power bomb. One. Two. That yeah, kicks out of two. A close call. Norse was frustrated. Thought that would put him away. Uh, 
hear the crowd chant and fight forever. I feel like there's a different video game called that. A spinning punch from the Norseman. Uh oh. They're going a little bit back and forth here between the two. A chop fest. Oh, he's going to get the better of this exchange. Oof. He's got a sting. So again, this is the first match of the second round. Because of Trey and Blow. Oof. Picture perfect clothesline. And goes for a cover. It's a one count there. Say we're far from done in this match. Mm, he goes for a moonsault but misses. Mm, Slam the Norseman's fucking face right off his knee. They busted him. Spears him back outside of the ring again. He's going to the top rope. What's he going to do here? I don't know. What's he going to do? Oh, wow. DDT from the top rope to the bottom of the ground. Wow. That is a... Uh... Eesh. Uh-oh. Uh, scooping a slam. Oh, what's he doing here? Ooh. There's a six count outside, so somebody might want to get inside. All right, the beast. The hunter. Beast hunter's picking them up. Get it inside the ring, guys. They made it to a seven count. He's going for a cover. One, two, three. That was a solid victory right there. There's no doubt about Here's that. That was a solid victory. Chris. That was convincing fashion. So we'll see this guy on to the next round. It's basically into your semis now. Second round. So now we've met all our competitors at least once. This is uh, Daddy J. Handsome. I'm still not 100%, but I think he's a Detroit Lions fan, and I think he's from. Uh, I think it's from over there by close to eight mile. Could be wrong. It's definitely not a fan favorite.
He's coming out of a, off the ramp here. This is uh, got quite the entrance. Awesome pyro show. Now, he won in the first round against Zach Religious. And, uh, he's taking on a guy in the second round that had a really good match in the first round against Slayer, D.B. Cooper. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 187 pounds, the Savage Daddy, Jay Handsome. Gotta be honest, I like the way they announce his name out there. It's uh, that's pretty pretty cool. The guy he's facing, though, like we said, the guy he's facing was in prison. And has some type of relationship with the president of this company. Ken Yamamoto. Been a lot of good quality matches tonight. A lot of interesting move sets we're seeing. I'm gonna say that next week next week we'll have a champion. But we'll still have a lot to learn about everybody. And his opponent from Washington, weighing in at 241 pounds, the outlaw D.B. Cooper. Well, the crowd always likes an outlaw, you know. The crowd is cheering this guy on. They're always rooting for the the guy that breaks the wall, you know. I don't know who's going to win this one. Really hard to say who's the favorite in this. There's a definite size advantage. Though. This guy is one of the smaller competitors in the whole whole company. Daddy J is. But he's definitely tenacious. Oof! Kick to the face. Damn. That had to hurt. Oh, jeez. He's stopping on his belly button. I squeeze the stuff right out of him. Oh, damn! Didn't even give him time to got him an ankle lock. Can I say DB Cooper's not really playing around this match? Come out full force. Almost reminded me of uh, the time Low Key accidentally well, he accidentally knocked his opponent out, but kept kept going in the match. I don't know if anybody ever seen that on YouTube or Facebook. But that's just at the start of this match. Daddy J is getting took to the woodshed right now. You know, DB Cooper just, just having his way with him. Another match outside the ring. D.B. Cooper might have, uh... Yeah, Daddy J's getting up. Yeah, he knocks him back out. Daddy J has not got one move in this match. Oh, uh, spoke too soon. Reversal, he clubs his leg. He's got to mount some type of offense, get some type of breather in.
Jeez. Gut wrench power bomb. And it goes for the cover. Oh, almost had a quick victory there. All right, Daddy J whips him into the ropes. Spins him around, neck breaker. A little punch, a little jab. Let's say just when Daddy J looks like he's about to make a comeback, he gets slammed to the mat. He stopped. This is getting kind of hard to watch. Looks like he's shooting a machine gun. Holy shit! Wow. A lot of intensity in this guy. Oh, bulldog! The hell, Daddy J is gonna have to. He's gonna have to try to strike some type of offense here. He's taking the turnbuckle pad off. Uh oh, he's gonna fight dirty. Oh, spear! Speared him to the mat outside of the ring. We're at a seven count. And they both went back in the ring. The turnbuckle is exposed over there, though. And Cooper Didi tees him to the mat. Mm. Let's see if that backfires on him. That turnbuckle is looking painful. The lack thereof. Oh, he goes to the top rope, whole line, split legged moonsault, he misses. Gets his. Oh, no, he didn't miss. I thought he got his knees up. Oof. That might be it. One, two. Oh, he kicks out. He's got some fight left in him. Uh oh. Uh oh, that might be it. One, two, three. That's all she wrote. That was a dominant performance there. See, DB Cooper might be your favorite to win this thing. That was a, a thoroughly dominant performance there. I can say that. I'm I'm pretty impressed with how that that went down there. That's uh, probably the most dominant performance so far of all the matches. Congratulations, TV Cooper. Seems to be a big fan of the Undertaker if you look at his moveset. What this guy does in the ring. That way he did in his last match. Yeah. His last match against GMC was a pretty good match, but the last ride put that put that match into, into his hands, basically. That last ride got his hand raised. We don't know a whole lot about this guy other than it's pretty mysterious. He's got a decent move set. He's got some strength behind him. He doesn't have the most size. It's not the tallest, but he does have a lot of strength. Strength and speed, but I'm going to say more so strength. At the, you know, the last match we saw. Number eight. He's five foot nine, 228 pounds. But he can pick people up and slam them to the ground. 
or pile drive them, you know. Now his opponent, Zim J. Bulletproof Scott, six foot two, two hundred and fifty pounds. It's not it's a little bit of a height advantage. And his opponent from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at two hundred and fifty pounds. L J Scott. I know this guy uh fan of uh submission wrestling from from what I can tell. It's got a little bit of an ego. Not a lot of a bit of an ego apparently. And he's also the only one that made it out of the first round by count out. Basically took straight out of the ground and uh didn't let him get back up. So you got Godspeed versus MJ Scott. Third match, second round for the UCWF World Heavyweight Championship. And we're off. Uh, Jay whips him back, knees him to the stomach. Neck breaker. He's focusing on the head area. Clubbing forearm. Oh, now he's focusing on the leg area. And he's going for a cover early. And he puts his forearm on his face, gets a one count. He's working over his arm. Working on the left arm. And he picks him up and just got him, whips him into the ropes, outside of the ropes. Clubs him in the face, clubs him in the face again. And he knocks him onto the floor. And we're outside of the ring again. And by again, I mean again tonight. Not this match. It looks like it's too sweet for everybody, huh? Uh oh. We're else, right outside of the announce table here. MJ whips Godspeed's head right into the ring apron. And MJ picks him up, throws him onto the ring, and he hits the floor. And Zagiri. Uh oh, what's he setting up here? Oh, rolling thunder. We're at a five count. Is he going to try to get him countered out again? Six count. Tries to throw him into the ring. Doesn't quite make it. Now he throws him into the ring. We're at a seven count. That's awfully close there again. And just got goes to the top turnbuckle. What's he going for here? He's telling him to get up. Uh-oh. Ooh. Jeesh. One, two. Oh, I thought that was it there for a minute. That was a nice move there. Oh, rolling thunder again. He hit him with like a code breaker off the top turnbuckle. Oh, nice slopping him. Chop, reversal. Godspeed with a punch to the face. Now punch to the chest. Oh, ended with a reversal. Oh, now he's got him in a cross face. Rope break. Uh oh. Split legged moon salt. Rolling thunder. Yeah, monkey flip. Yeah, Godspeed's gonna try to get outside the ring. MJ jumps to the top rope. Frog splash to the outside. Oh my gosh. You got some air with that. MJ is taking the fight to him. Oh, he goes for a knee smash and misses. MJ 
he slams his face on the ring mat. Godspeed throws MJ into the steel steps. You know, right by the announce table again. We've hit a five count again. Now they're back into the ring. And a colorable tie up. And Godspeed just slams him to the ground. He picks him up. He's got him in the air, throws him to the corner. That goes to wrench his arm against the mat. He's just working on that. That hits him with an elbow drop. And Jay gets out of the ring smartly. Oh my gosh. He went for a dive to the outside, and MJ went inside the ring right as he went outside. And he completely missed that dive there. That's got to hurt. Uh-oh. MJ hits him with a dive outside the ring. That one connected. That's playing to the crowd. Yeah, maybe nobody does like him, but I don't think he cares. Are we ever going to make this match last inside the ring? We're at a four count now. Uh, what's he setting up for here now? Again, another rolling thunder. We're at a five count. Uh, MJ is, uh, what's he got him here for? It's like a stretch slam. We're at a seven count. Uh, MJ throws Godspeed into the ring. Uh, MJ's back into the ring. Uh oh. Mm. Just slammed his knee into the ground. I was going for a cover. One, two. Oh, wow, that was a close fall there. He barely kicked out. We had a near fall there. Uh oh. Just got him up. Got him on his shoulder. Slams him out of the top rope. A rolling thunder. They go into the top rope. He's telling him to get up. He's setting up for something here. Oh, he missed it. He's getting, he whips him into the turnbuckle. Uh, close line. Uh, Godspeed's in control. He goes for a cover. One. Uh, MJ kicks out at one. They say MJ's been in control most of this match. Gonna have to do a little more damage than that, but then again, you never know. Uh, now he's punching him in the face. Not Godspeed on the attack. He just busted MJ open in the turnbuckle. He's got him on the top rope. What's he do? He just punched him out of the ring. MJ just tumbled out of the ring to the bottom of the ground. Now Godspeed's on the top rope. Oh, he hit him with a leg drop. Oh, that's going to do it. That could have broke, a, broke a, a bone in the neck. No, MJ seems okay. He got right back up and hit him the reversal. Oh, yeah, Irish whips him into the rope, into the uh, steel barricade. And MJ comes into the ring and then goes back out to break the count. Uh oh. Yep, Godspeed throws MJ into the ring. Now Gatsby comes to the ring himself. Punches MJ in the stomach. Uh, MJ goes to punch back and gets blocked. Godspeed's getting the better of this exchange right now. Uh, now they're going back and forth tip for tat trading blows. Uh, MJ connects with the right hand. Uh, Gatsby goes for a chop. MJ blocks it. MJ fell to the ground. The Godspeed's got him against the turnbuckle. Puts his foot right against his face. His boot right against his face. Oof. Just picks him up and drops him. There's a lot of punishment being dealt in this match now. Uh oh, Godspeed looks like he's going for old school. He sure is. Oh, and it connects. Oh, he's telling him to get up. Uh-oh. He's going for a tombstone. Oh, 
Spike connects with the tombstone. Can he cover him? One. Two. Oh, he kicked out. He kicked out of the tombstone. Uh-oh. He's going for another one. A uh, second tombstone. That might be it. One, two, three. They put him with two tombstones. Here is your winner, Goldman Speedy. I'll say MJ had control of most of that match, but then. Just took one speed rush from God's speed and that, that did it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Charleston, West Virginia, weighing in at 465 pounds, Butcher Bob! So the winner of this will go to the semifinals and take on Godspeed. Butcher Bob is the biggest competitor that uh, was in the tournament, or is in the tournament. He's the biggest competitor left, obviously, but he, he's also the biggest one left. I mean, that was in it. If that makes sense, guys, I apologize. <laughs> Six foot eleven, four hundred sixty-five pounds. It's going to be a big difference in size in this one. From Worcester, Massachusetts, weighing in at two hundred and thirty-two pounds. S J S. See, the thing is here, even with that size difference, SJS can still hit the final cut on them. I mean, that's one of those moves that he can just hit. 
you know, the size plays a factor in a lot of things. The weight. But not with that. This guy seems very charismatic, and the crowd really seems to like him, too. I mean, he's got a huge pop every time he's come out here tonight. Let's get this one underway. Jeez. Wow. Anyways, no time. Put your bottom of the cover. Got a two count early. That was almost like a 10 foot drop, how tall he is. Picked him up and slam. Oh, oh. That's Jazz with a reversal springboard crossbody. He goes for a cover one, two. Well, they've both gotten early two counts. I mean, we're not even a minute into this match. Very fatigue setting in. I do not know. <laughs> Put your Bob just clubbing him to the ground. Now, now he's stomping him. Mean, one thing you don't want to do is let him mount you or get on top of you. It's a lot of weight. It'll take a lot of energy to get out. He's just picking them up and throwing them, though. That's a huge drop. That's got to hurt. I mean, that's got to be doing a lot of damage. Now, he's going to the top turnbuckle. I don't feel like he belongs up there, but he's up there. Oof. High risk, high reward, and it lands. It doesn't matter what I feel. It matters what that guy feels, you know? Oh. But your Bob just... Working him over outside of the ring. He slams his knee into the ground, too. We're at a five count. It's a six. It's not going to count him out, but Trabab going back outside. Oh, he gets caught with gets caught with a kick to the stomach. SJS wrenching his neck over, but he powers out. Butcher Bob seems to be in control right now, but it still seems like an even matchup. But right now, Butcher Bob's in control. And he picks SJ up. I mean, that's a that's a big drop. Oh my gosh! Oh wow! He just slammed his back right into the guardrail. His spine's got to be hurting there. It's not meant to take that type of damage. They threw him back in the ring, though. He doesn't want the count out win. I don't think anybody necessarily wants one, but you'll take the win at any cost. But he got caught coming into the ring, and SJS is going for a pin after DDT. One. When he comes in the ring and out of the ring, he's gotten caught twice now. Yeah. Butcher Bob just overpowering SJS. And clubs the back of his head. And he stomps his back. And he's got him in a hold. He's wrenching his neck over some. That's going to be painful too. It makes my neck hurt watching it. Uh-oh. Enzigere. SJS out of the reversal there with an Enzigere. Now he's got Butcher Bob on the ground. And he's trying to work his arm over some. The crowd really wants to see some broken fingers tonight. I'll tell you what. Here, this UCWF explosion. Closed line. The power of a punch there. Uh, SJS is working his arm over. He's got him in a submission. It's almost like the uh, tequila sunrise. Uh oh, he's reversing him. I can't believe he can maneuver Butcher Bob around like that.
Now it's a little back and forth springboard. He misses him up with an elbow, and Butcher Bob headbutts him to the back. Now Butcher Bob just dragging him on the mat. He stomps the back. Oh, he just sat down on him like Yokozuna would. He was going for a cover. One, two. Yeah, SJS kicks out, too. Oh, man, he goes for a huge splash. Butcher Bob with the cover. One, two, three. Yo, Butcher Bob is victorious. Here is your winner. Here's semifinals are set. Could just be the size advantage of Butcher Bob. He could be your favorite as well. I don't know, but that was a back and forth match for a while. But that weight coming down is too much, maybe. semifinals to crown the heavyweight champion I don't know what can get any better than this tonight guys so Hunter Chris made it here by defeating Big Bear Bison first round Norseman in the second round. Here we are, third round semifinals. It's going to take on D.B. Cooper. Some are calling D.B. Cooper the favorite to win this thing, though. So D.B. Cooper made it here by beating Slayer, first round, Daddy J, second round. Had his opponent from Washington. Weighing in at 241 pounds, the outlaw, D.B. Cooper. <sighs> this should be exciting right here. One of these guys is going to be in the finals. One of these guys in this match right here is going to compete to be the heavyweight champion. crowd seems to be torn between the two. They like both of them, it seems to be. It's got a big fight feel here, though, guys. Both got their chains on, too. Here, here we are, underway. Now, D.B. Cooper did destroy his opponent the last round. He comes out in this one, takes control early in this one, too. Yeah, the, last, the last match D.B. Cooper had was the most dominant match in the entire tournament. And then Cooper whips him against the ropes, belly to belly suplex. And then Cooper is in control again, just like he was in the last match. Oh, now the Hunter with the reversal, into the head. And the Hunter's got him at the top, close lines him to the ground, picks him back up, close lines him back down, picks him back up, goes around, oh, just kicks him in the face. It plays with the crowd a little bit, and I don't know. It's a mixed crowd between these two here. I mean, it really is. German suplex and just tosses him. And the Hunter is in control now. This is, this match isn't quite like the last match that Cooper had. This guy's putting up a little bit more of a fight. I don't know if Daddy J just had a bad match last match.
Oof. Goes for the cover. One, two. That yeah, kicks out of two. Got D.B. Cooper versus Hunter Chris. And then jumps off the rope. Oh, he hits him with the Cody Cutter. We'll call that the Cooper Cutter. Jeez. That Cooper just hit him with a DDT. Now he's going for a pin. One. I think it's a one count there. Uh, Cooper is uh, wrenching on his arms. He picks Hunter up, knees him in the skull. That uh, kicks him in the head. Uh, he drops his face on the ground with a DDT. Uh, Cooper is in control of this match now. He picks Hunter up. Galar will tie up. Another, oh, just a dice, just brutal nicely on DDT there. And he climbs to the top rope, jumps to the top rope at that, hits him with a diving headbutt. And Cooper with the cover. One, two. And the Hunter kicks out at two. Yeah, Hunter goes to the outside of the tur uh, ring. And Cooper goes to punch him and gets reversed. And Cooper's got to hold, got to hold him by the neck. That hits him with a chop. And he's got his foot tied up on the rope. Yeah, Cooper hitting him with a series of punches and kicks and another DDT. His face is going to be hurting tonight. That hits with a monkey flip. Uh oh. Oh, Famouser. Cooper just hit him with a Famouser. Hunter is, uh... Yeah, he hits him with a reversal. All right. Now Hunter's in control. Yeah, he's got his arm tied up. It's a uh, back-and-forth wrestling match here, guys. Cooper getting outside of the ring. Oh. Don't know, what, don't know if he was thinking of doing something there or not, but the ref just got knocked out. The ref did get knocked out. Let's see if anybody tries to take advantage or not. Both these guys seem like good guys, so I would think not, but... Oh, the ref's back up. Yeah, Hunter just slams Cooper's head off the side of the mat. Got the Hunter coming back in. Yeah, he punches him in the body, and he picks him up. Drops him on his back. He's going for a cover. I think it's a one count. Set up for something here. It's like a running drive-by kick. Yep. It's got a gut wrench slam and he follows through with it. That another one? What's he doing here? Add another gut wrench slam. Now the Hunter's in control here. He's got him in a tie-up. He's taking him over to the corner. Slams his head into it and busts him wide open. He's split open. He's bleeding. That Cooper's on the mat. Get bleeding everywhere. Hunter goes to the middle rope. He's telling him to get up. Oh, he hits him with a blockbuster. Cooper might be out of it. I don't know. Yeah, Hunter's staging up for something here. Super kick. What the? Get him in an ankle walk. I have uh, never seen that animation before, guys. That is a weird animation there, but wow. Cooper's just slamming him to the ground. I thought this match might have been over there with that super kick, but I don't know. He must have had some force of adrenaline to... I, I don't know. Oh, wow. Oh, another super kick. That might be it there. I think that's it, guys. One, two.
two, three. That's all she wrote there. Cooper's been took out of the tournament by the hunter. Now the hunter will be in the finals. Well, now we know at least one guy in the finals will either take on Godspeed or Butcher Bob. Looks like it took two super kicks to get him to the guy. Yeah. Godspeed made it here. The first round of victory over GMC. He hit him the last shred. Pinned him one, two, three. And then he uh, had to hit two tombstone pile drivers on MJ Scott. One didn't do the job. He hit him with the second one. He got the one, two, three. Now here he is in the semifinals. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to hit the last shred or a tombstone pile driver on the guy he's facing right now. The guy he's facing is six foot eleven. About 460 some odd pounds. But if he can hit that, then I don't think there's anybody he can't hit it on. Yeah, once again, this is Godspeed here. He's a uh, semifinal matchup. Let's get ready to take on. Six foot eleven, four hundred and sixty pound butcher Bob from West Virginia. And butcher Bob. He's a big guy. Godspeed's definitely gonna have to strike him fast and early if he wants to win this one. We already know the Hunter has made it to the finals. Whoever wins this match will take on the Hunter Chris in the finals for the championship. And his opponent from Charleston, West Virginia, weighing in at 465 pounds, Butcher Bob. Just keeps the pig mask on while he wrestles. It's like a layer of protection, though, I think. I mean, it's hard to feel anything in the nose if you're getting hit with a mask on. Like that. But again, maybe he's got a big nose. Maybe he looks like Triple H under that thing. Who knows? All right. It's almost time to get underway, guys. It's the last semifinals of the night. The winner's going to go to the main event. And we're underway. And color elbow tie up. Yeah, Butcher Bob getting elbowed in the stomach. Godspeed reversing out of that. That yeah, Godspeed just gets thrown to the ground, though. No, yeah, he's fighting him, though. He's punching him. Butcher Bob's throwing him, though. Yeah, he slams his knee right off of his face. Yeah, elbow drop from Butcher Bob. He's driving all his weight to his back. Now he's playing to the crowd. He slams him, slops, slaps him in the head, I should say. Apologize. He's just brutally choking him. Godspeed's going to try to get outside the ring. Nah. Looks like regain his bearings a little bit. That Godspeed grabs uh, Butcher Bob, throws him inside the ring. Even fight so far we got here. This matchup's going back and forth. You now Butcher Bob picking Godspeed up and driving him from all the way in the air on his onto his knee. Now he's going for a pen. The, the ref there didn't even bother getting down. He's seen the foot was on the rope. Now 
Tell you what, if Butcher Bob picks you up and drops you and you fall to the ground, you could die from that height. Butcher Bob just walking right over the top rope. Up, jumps up to the top turnbuckle, though. He's very agile for a big man. And it's a high risk maneuver. What's he going to do? Oh, he goes for a double arm, double X handle, and he misses. Yeah, Godspeed get whips again, whipped against the ropes. And he's picked up, dropped down. Yeah, Butcher Bob picking Godspeed up again. Got him over the top of his shoulders. He gets strapped on the turnbuckle. He's trying to hang on to the turnbuckle, and he's not happening. Just ain't happening for him. Now Butcher Bob's got his neck. He's wrenching on his neck. Eesh. Godspeed is just throwing on his head. Now Butcher Bob just walks all that way right across him like nothing. So it's a 465-pound monster there. They call him Butcher Bob, but nobody really knows what he cuts up. Stomps Godspeed right in the stomach. Now he goes for a cover. I got a two count there. Now if Godspeed doesn't mount some sort of offense here soon, this match will be over. Pusher Bob just stomping on him. Slamming all his weight on his back and just it's a lot of a lot of pain on the lower back. That's knee sham. Oh Godspeed trying to fight back with a boot. Oh punch. Uh, side rushing leg sweep. Alright, Godspeed mounting some sort of offense. Put your bob going to the outside of the ropes. Trying to get away from Godspeed now. Godspeed's got to hit some moves here. Got to get something going. Nice clip. Hits him with a couple punches, a couple right hands. But your ball falls to the outside of the ring. Here we are, outside of the ring again for the uh, 20th time tonight, probably. That Godspeed's taking Butcher Bob to the ropes. He's going to pick him up. He picked him up and slammed him on the rail, so he can pick Butcher Bob up. That's not a question now. He just picked him up and slammed him on the rail. But uh, the question is, can he pick him up for a last ride or a tombstone? He's got to keep on him, though. That's a colorable tie-up. Godspeed's got him in his chokehold. Oh, he just punches him right in the gut. And he throws Butcher Bob back into the ring. Yeah, Godspeed's coming into the ring himself. No, he's going to the top turnbuckle. What's he going for here? Ooh, an elbow drop. Now he's going for a cover. Yeah, Butcher Bob kicks out a one. Pathetically, but Godspeed looks like he's trying to call for something here. This either could be the last ride or the tombstone. Or a leg drop, one or the other. Leg drop it is. Going for another leg drop. Hey, it's two leg drops in a row. Right on Butcher Bob's neck. Hey, wrenches on Butcher Bob's neck. He's torturing him. He's found an area. He's targeting it. And I can't blame him for that. Oh, he goes for a third running leg drop, but Butcher Bob missed. Ducks out of the way. I got a little bit of back and forth tip for Tad action here as the chain trade blows. Oh, he just got busted open. Godspeed busted open. Now Butcher Bob knocks him to the ground. Now he's going for a cover. Rope break. Butcher Bob just towers over everybody. Oh, it's a huge splash from Butcher Bob. That might be it. That's all she wrote. Butcher Bob is going on to the finals now. Here is your winner, Butcher Bob. Certainly an impressive victory there as well. Semi-final matchup. Butcher Bob 
It's been an impressive night for him as well. Now he goes on to the championship match. Possibility to make history for the UCWF. Time has come. are needed for either competitor in this match they've all made their path to get here they've all earned the right to be in this match it's time for them to lay it all out in the line it's a quest for a champion who's going to be the first Charleston, West Virginia, weighing in at 465 pounds, Butcher Bob! Butcher Bob, come on, let's see what we got going on here now. This is the main event, World Heavyweight Championship, UCWF, first show, inaugural show. Time to crown a champion, guys. It's a lot of gold there, baby. Again, this is your color commentator, Buck Nuts. Been doing commentary for you guys throughout this season. And we're underway. And put your bob with a double chicken wing underhook suplex. Hey, Hunter's on the ground getting kicked. It's, it's, it's kind of a story for, uh, Butcher Bob here, he's got a size advantage over everybody. Oof. Clubbing blow to the head of Hunter. And Butcher Bob stepping over the top rope, going to the top rope. He's going for a high risk maneuver here. Big splash and he lands it. That's 460 pounds coming down on Hunter's chest there. That's going to do some damage. Butcher Bob's in total control as this match starts. Uh, playing with his arm now. And he just kicks him right in the face. Alright, Hunter with the reversal. Knocks Butcher Bob to the ground. Slams his face on his knee. And he stomps him. Hunter with an arm bar stretch. Wrenching over Butcher Bob's arm. And he stomps him in the back. And Butcher Bob rolling over to the side, pulling himself up on the ropes. The other Hunter is clubbing his back. Butcher Bob with a reversal. Butcher 
Bob grabs him by the throat and just throws him into the corner. And he's choking him. Hunter's being choked against the rope. And he falls to the ground. He's being stomped. I think he just busted him open with a foot. Now he goes for a cover. Hunter's foot was under the rope the whole time. And now Hunter rolls out of the ring, which might be a wise thing to do. It might not be. I don't know. The title is on the line of this match. It's a camel clutch backstop. I... I don't know how else to describe that move, but Hunter gets whipped into the uh, into the guardrail. Put your Bob going back into the ring over the ropes. The ref count to four now. Hunter's still down on the ground. They're at five. Yeah, he's got to get in the ring soon. Yeah, but your Bob's going to break the count. Stepping outside of the ring. Yeah, he grabs him by the throat. The Hunter reverses and punches him in the stomach. Uh, hits him with a DDT on the outside floor. Here we go over ringside. Hunter throws Butcher Bob back into the ring. Uh, Hunter is taking a breather. Taking a sweet time getting back into the ring. But might be a smart thing to do. Uh, he gets walked right into a clothesline. Uh, Butcher Bob wrenching over Hunter's neck. Oh, but Bob went for a maneuver and got blocked. The Hunter is taking Butcher Bob's head and slamming it in the middle of the mat. Now he goes for a moonsault and he hits it. Standing moonsault. Hunter picks up Butcher Bob. Springboards off the ropes. Hits him with the clothesline. Springboard clothesline from the Hunter. Knocks Butcher Bob down. Butcher Bob getting back up to his feet. Hunter slams his face into his knee. Now he grabs him by the knees. Hits him with a double leg drop. Between the legs. Looks like what Jeff Hardy used to do. Exactly like what he used to do. Now he's at the top rope. Oh, he goes for a blockbuster off the top turnbuckle to the outside. Butcher Bob is out of it right now. He's getting slammed to the outside of the floor. Hunter is hyped up. He's ta taunting him. He's hyping himself up now. Now he hits up the Savat kick to the side. The ref is counting. The crowd is counting. We're at a five count here outside of the ring. we got to get it inside the ring, guys. Hunter is clubs him down to the ground, stomping him on the ground. We're at almost a six count now. We're at a six count here. Hunter is in control outside of the ring, but you can't win the match outside of the ring. Now he throws Hunter back inside the ring. He's going inside the ring. Breaks the count. Here we are. He's going for a cover. Hunter Bob, or not Hunter Bob, <laughs> sorry about that guys, Butcher Bob kicks out emphatically at one. The Hunter hits him with the DDT now, still in control, working on him in the ring, he's going to call for something here, what's he going for, he's, oh, knees him right in the throat, he's going for a cover here, that might be it, one, that was nowhere near it, I apologize to uh, Butcher Bob for ever doubting him there, uh, he goes for a springboard moonsault, Butcher Bob moves out of the way. Uh, it's a war here, right, guys? You know, we're watching a war right here. Back and forth. Underhook suplex. Oh, underhook drops him right on his face with the knee buster. Goes for a cover. Hunter with a cover. Oh, that was almost it. Oh, my gosh. I thought that was it there. That was almost a three count. Could feel the championship in his grasp. Springboard moonsault. Butcher Bob is reeling. Butcher Bob needs to get something going. Needs to get out of the ring here. He's about to be over if he doesn't make something happen here soon. Oh, a reversal by Butcher Bob. Just what he needed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That could be it. One. Two. Three. Oh, that's it. History's been made. History has been made. The victory roll super kick has winner. done it again and for the hunter. World champion, the destroyer, Hunter Chris. Looks like we know he's on top of the mountain here.